You will now recall that the airworthiness standards of the Chicago Convention, Annex 8, are related to Annex 6, that deals with aeroplane performance. This realizes that the operation of aeroplanes is intrinsically related to the safety of them, that is, the airworthiness of them. The airworthiness of aeroplanes is therefore not just fully defined by the application of the standards of Annex 8, but also the standards of Annex 6, which are complementary. Annex 8 deals with the engineering aspects, whereas Annex 6 deals with the safety of the operation of the aircraft. The standards apply to performance and operation. Over the past decade, the applicability of Annex 8 has widened to include many aircraft types. However, as far as we are concerned, in this course, we will consider that the standards of airworthiness are applicable to all aircraft over 5,700 kg maximum certified takeoff mass, intended for the carriage of passengers, cargo or mail in international navigation. And, unless specifically exempted, the standards apply to the complete aeroplane, including their power units, systems and equipment. For the standards to be applicable, the aeroplane must have at least two engines. A certificate of airworthiness is to be issued by the State of Registry when satisfactory evidence is provided that the aeroplane complies with the appropriate airworthiness requirements. ICAO has specified a standard form for the Certificate of Airworthiness, C of A, which includes the nationality and registration marks of the airframe, the manufacturer and designation of the aircraft, along with the aircraft serial number. The state of registry of an aeroplane is responsible for determining if that aircraft continues to be airworthy and is required to maintain a system for recording faults, malfunctions, defects or other occurrences which might affect its airworthiness. The state of design is required to ensure that a structural integrity program exists supporting all aircraft. This program must specifically identify corrosion control measures. The C of A will be renewed or remain valid, provided that the continued airworthiness of the aeroplane has been determined by a periodic inspection. The period between inspections is to take into account the type of service and the time elapsed between inspections, or be in accordance with the system of inspection established by the state. When an aeroplane is damaged, then the state of registry must establish whether the damage is of such a nature that the aircraft is no longer airworthy. Each aircraft is required to have a flight manual in which the approved limitations are defined and any additional information is contained as is necessary for the safe operation of the aeroplane.